Laureen with Matter Space TV, and today we're on planet Zara with film actress Sabrina Morris from one of my favorite films, Star Trek. Hi. Hi. So tell me, how did you land a role on Star Trek? How did that come about? I originally went in to screen test to play an alien, and um, it didn't work out for a couple of different reasons, but they took a snapshot picture of me when I was in there, and it got circulated to J.J. Abrams, who then selected me out of, you know, a pool of probably hundreds of people to um, be on the bridge of the Enterprise. And then from there, I got to know J.J. really well, and he gave me my shot. So was filming fun? Like, how, how was it like working with J.J. Abrams? It was amazing. You can't, you really, truly, genuinely cannot get any better than J.J. I mean, he's, uh, not only is he a genius in his work, he's also, like, one of the nicest, funniest, most laid-back guys you've ever met. So apart from that, what are you doing now? Right now, I have a show. It's called The What's Up Show. You can see it on the what's up show com, <laughs> And um, it's a show I created, and I got another actor to go with me on it. And uh, I started off as a screenwriter originally before I became an actress, and so I have a couple of scripts right now that caught the attention of Shane Black, who wrote Lethal Weapon and wrote and directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And so he's been helping me along because he likes my work. So you start out in writing. Mm -hmm. How did you transition into acting? Um, when I was in college, I started screenwriting and I thought taking an acting class will really help my screenwriting skills. So I went in, I took an acting class, I had so much fun, I got hooked on it and I just had to do it. And then you happened to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't suck so bad that it was ridiculous <laughs> if I pursued it. So basically you're doing it all right now? Um, it appears to be that way, yes. But I'm mostly, I'm mostly an actress. So, first day on the set, you're on the Enterprise. What was that like? I mean, you're there with J.J. Abrams. It, it, wa it was mind-boggling the, the, the first time I saw the actual set, which was shot on Paramount Studios, on the actual um, studio lot place where they right. shot the original series and so part of my pre preparation for the role I was never really a Star Trek fan I was much more Star Wars but for my preparation <laughs> for the role I watched every single episode on the original series and I took a couple of weeks and just just watch just blew through this all the the DVDs and so I, I became like really familiar with the Star Trek universe and um, you know the other actors you know at the time they were you know they were not known nobody knew Chris right. Pine nobody knew Zachary Quinto um, and so it wasn't intimidating really meeting them or working with them and JJ is such a likable uh, personable warm person that it was it was very the, the set was very comfortable in in many ways because of because you know the director dictates the the atmosphere and he made a really fun exciting set to be on i'll tell you what sort of like got me was actually going through all the costuming because you know like they you go through all the costuming and you get fitted and fitted and fitted and fitted and it was during that time period that I was like, wow, you know, because I saw all these amazing costumes that they had set up, and uh, so that was more amazing f for me. Oh, that probably been my favorite part too, trying yeah. out of the clothes. <laughs> yeah. So you finish the film, the film comes out, you have the big premiere. What was it like watching yourself on screen? I I don't actually really remember paying attention too much to my bits. I just remember thinking, what an amazing work that JJ actually came up with because it's it the the amount of work and dedication that went into the film I mean just the sound alone is really mind-boggling and and I was just you know just seeing it I was on for the ride it was like right. I was a complete audience member as though I had never worked on it and it was just amazing to me so did you go to the premiere and who all did you meet there I did go to the premiere. I met Leonard Nimoy, who I hadn't met before because he wasn't on set. I worked on uh, Trek for about a month, but he was never on set because it was all all my scenes are on the bridge of the Enterprise. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't leave the ship in the story. I I take over Spock's seat in the story when he becomes captain, and and I don't ever leave it <laughs> in the story. So I didn't get to I I didn't get to meet him working, but I got to meet him at the premiere, um, and. 
the premiere was, it was enormous. I mean, everybody was there. Samuel L. Jackson, so many people from the industry came out to support it. And, you know, Robert Rodriguez was there and, um, you know, so many, so many actors and familiar faces and, I don't know, lots of people. It was mind boggling. So the sequel, do you think it'll be in this one? I hope so. Um, I've I've talked to Damon Lindelof, who is um, one of the executive producers and also the showrunner for Lost, and he said yes. And I talked to Bob Orsi, who's one of the writers and executive producers, and he said yes, but there's no final contract signed yet. So let's hope. I really, I really hope because I, I really, really enjoyed it. And now I'm a, I'm, I'm a total Trek fan too. Okay, so we were able to contact you and have the interview today because we found you actually on MyOuterSpace.com. You're a member on the planet Zara. So how did you come across My Outer Space? How did you get involved in that? I think some Trek fan or Trek website sent me a link to My Outer Space. And I, when I went in and looked at it, it was sort of like a community for sci-fi creators and also just sci-fi geeks. And so that would be kind of me because <laughs> I am a complete sci-fi geek and um, and so I was like well sign up for this too social networking for for geeks that's me right now the Starship Republic actually has a project they're working on with the Kyoto brothers that's part of my outer space.com will you be submitting on the acting side or on the writing side the acting side I would think um, I, I don't know. It's just it's mo it's mostly my passion to to act. I, but I've always been a writer. You know, it's kind of a, f a first love. But but acting definitely takes precedence because I love it more. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here, Sabrina Morris, and uh, I wish you the best of luck in all that you do and all your next sci-fi adventures. Thank you, and to you. <laughs> thank you, and I'm Lorene with My Outer Space TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Mm -hmm.